Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today we are taking a look at Arcade uh, by Output, you know. And uh, yes, so it's awesome. It's it's a very, very entertaining and clever way of manipulating loops and samples and ridiculously useful and very inspiring too. So what is it? Okay, so you get these lines here. These are lines and then you get kits and then you get loops. So the loops are individual, the lines are the full thing. So you can choose any of these here, you see, and new stuff is added all the time. Now, a little bit about uh, Arcade is that it is a subscription model instrument. However, you do get to use it for 100 days, entirely free, fully functional, completely and utterly just running completely. After the three months, uh, you can, you know, so you, you you subscribe and it's nine nine ninety nine nine dollars ninety nine 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 pounds ninety nine something like that. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You could opt out. You're not tied into any sort of contract for any um, amount of time or anything. It's entirely, completely, and up to you. However, um, for me, this is ridiculously useful. Now we've just released. Uh, me, uh, Dave, Lee, and Ellie, and Colin Powell have just released a new album called Lily's Gone Mad, and I mention that here because, let me just minimise that, because here, now this track here where it says Doug Woods and Colin Powell, um, and it's Dave Lee and Ellie as well, that's the entire complete project, the, the finished thing, the mastered version of the album, okay, but it's muted at the moment. This here, uh, the ADO Dobro, and then you can see it says Arcade, now Arcade, arcade there two i used two instances of arcade in this track and the point is that the fact of how useful it is and um, brilliant it is actually using it in a song anyway let's before we get into that i want to um just give you a quick idea of how it sounds so you get these lines okay and inside each of these lines so if we scroll down or something go to i pocket uh, say um let's see pocket band open that inside this there are a load more kits if you like inside but not kits like these kits that's that's different again okay so that's more sounds and stuff kits made up of what's in actual arcade so if you you can preview a little preview of kind of the thing that's included in the kit so if we just hit this little... okay you could do this one Now, how this works, right, okay, so this one's already downloaded, and it stores the downloaded stuff on your desktop or wherever you want to store it. The rest of it is stored in the cloud, so you're not cluttering up your uh, hard disk with anything that you don't actually want. So if we want to okay, say, let's see this one, which is a new one, Cool Breeze here. Let's download that. So you do this, and it takes a couple of seconds, not too long depending on how many saps. So you'll when it loads, your samples and loops will be spread across two octaves of the keyboard here. Each of those is editable individually, and also at the top here, you have ways to manipulate, change, and like, so you can do stutter and repeat, etc., etc. I'll show you once this loads in here. But once it's loaded, you've already you've always got it. You know, it's stored in where you've chose to store your files, sort of thing. So you can always go back or you can delete them if you want to, you know, and uh, start again. Or you can favorite things as well. So this is this is done now. That's loaded. Let's just click on load, and what it will do is it will load those onto the keys here. So that this is now loaded. Okay. Now, if I play on my MIDI keyboard, I'll start it. I think it's C3. Okay, so you're triggering different loops and samples across two octaves of your keyboard. Here's the thing. That track that I've just been looking at, I know, is in F sharp. I wrote it in F sharp. So to make sure everything fits in with the, the you know your key, you can just go down to F sharp here, and you can also choose you know whether it's up or down an octave or whatever. You can set it all up exactly how you like. So now, so now it's. Now 
And because it's all tempo synced to your door, you're never going to be out of time or anything. Now, like I said, hitting the black keys here will will affect that particular loop or whatever, whichever loop you're playing, it doesn't mean it's adjacent to this key. So if I was to play this E here and then hit the stuttery thing by the looks of it. If I hit this key down here and then hit it again, You can then decide what you know. You, you you can choose any of the keys and use any of the effects in any order you like. Plus, it's completely polyphonic, so you could play three keys. Or as many as you like. Now, the thing to note here is my laptop isn't very powerful. So what's the DSP? The more samples and loops you're playing, the, the more that that's going to drive up. However, what I do is I recorded like the MIDI data and then I just bounced it to, to an audio track. So for instance, in an example like um, this here, if I if I play this little piece of uh, thing, which is basically what I sent Colin and Dave to add their bits to. <laughs> So that's uh, 8 D.O.'s Dobro. That little whistle is Arcade. That's Arcade. That's Arcade as well. So that, that's what I used in this particular track. But because now if I wanted to make some adjustments again or further further enhance what's there. Now when I I'll play at the very end of this video, I'll play the entire track. If you if you're still around by then you want to hear it. You can. Um right, so and then you'll hear what was added to it and how it all blends in once it was mastered and everything, and it sounds great. Okay, so let's let's look at this again here. We can uh, expand that back up. Now I've set this to F sharp. So if I play the track from a particular point, let's play it from there, say for instance, whenever I hit any of the keys across the two octaves here, it's gonna, it's gonna fit perfectly tempo wise and key wise with what's already there. Now, all right, you wanna, might wanna go through the different lines and kits and loops and things to get the mood and feel, but let's just do this. the idea there it fits in it fits in perfectly and you can mess around and you can do all sorts of cool stuff now for every single loop and sample you have a full edit control here which means that you can edit the way the sample plays so you can if you select this it will ping pong backwards and forwards or you could just have it reversed or you could have it looped so it will so you have lots of different options for it to play and of course you can mix and match all of them as well you have your effect sends which I'll show you in a sec so let's take the reverse off You also have a mixer, so if we're selecting, you can see here. Let me just play it. 
you can adjust the volume for each one um, the pan and the effect send and you've got two sends here so you can add another you could add something else a multi-tap delay or whatever and then there you go I might not want that though This is your. This is where you right. That, that's the macro thing. I'll show you that in a sec. And then you have full modulation control over everything as well. Okay. So if we go back to this, and then I select. We're on this now. We can go here. Sorry, I'll go there. This is the overview for Cool Breeze, which I've just chosen. You can see I'm still in F sharp. Now it has four brilliant macro controls as well, so you can add. And these macros are fully programmable. here your your stuttering gating stuff like that effects are also 100% editable so if we go let's have a look at that what can we do with this well we have a repeater here which is and we can choose to reverse or take the reverse off it we can invert the steps. We can add our steps back in. We can choose our, our sinking value for our tempo. We can choose how many steps we want up to 16. And then you also have the playhead you can set the start and end point of samples. Right, so if I... So what you're doing there is, when you hit this, it will jump to a portion of the sample that you've selected for playback, if you know what I mean. So that's very cool. So you can jump to any particular part of any particular loop or sample, and then just do your editing. The, and then you have the, sorry, uh, the resequencer, which is very, very cool beans. So, and in the resequencer, you can choose to have, like we've got it at eight steps. Let's stick it at 16 steps, okay? You can reverse any of the actual steps. You can change the timing of any of the steps here. You've got your envelope here. You can set the swing. You've got markers at the top. Mute, cool. Um, yeah, and then the speed. So if we like, let's just mute. Um, we're going to mute here. Let's mute a couple of these steps. Okay, so. Let's hit the. Okay, so you can see. And then you can choose how it's note on, note off, timeline, follow. There is so much control that you have over here uh, with with Arcade it, for your loops and samples. It's just amazing. It doesn't stop there, right? So I've got this this pocket band thing loaded in, right? This is what I put in here. Yeah, cool breeze. That's the actual thing I loaded in there. However, I'm not going to necessarily want all of those loops or samples that are stored in there. So I've got options now to change out anything that I don't particularly like from kits or loops. Well, not from kits, a kit will load a whole kit in. But if I go to loops now, you've got your sort of, um, you know, you can choose whether you want simple process beat elements, you know, all the different ways that you can dig down and simplify the searches and stuff like that. 
when you download one of these, so let's listen to this. Okay, that's that. Let's download that. Okay, and let's see. Let's say we, we don't want that. We can just drag this down here and place that on there. And now we've got our reverse symbol. On that key. So it gets a bit heavy duty. So what I would like I said, what I would do is if I was doing it, I'd record that along maybe one and then I'd just do it again after I'd bounced it down through frozen or the MIDI track out. Okay. So this one here is one I've set up earlier to let's go as this one here, isn't it? Particles. So if I like wanted to record a little bit of that in, switch my click on and turn it up a little bit. Yeah, that's quite nice. And I'd already set up my, um, you know, key. So if I go back to the beginning now, press record. Okay, so you get you get the idea there. So if we just close that again, go back to the sequencer, you'll see that I've now recorded my let's turn that click off. go that's how you do it and then all i would basically do is just bounce go down to bounce in place and then it would render that as a um a, a wave file you know so we can get rid of that and we don't need it so let's have another look then okay dokey now um let's go back down to my rack here so i guess that you want to be hearing some of the other things so if you like You've got beat elements here. You can sample it. Like I said, you can sample each one. Or you can load. This is already there, so you could just load that one in. Or we could just load this one in. And like I said before, you can replace each element with uh, each sample with a different one from the actual loop section here. It's so cool. It's so ridiculously cool. And each one's got a different display sort of thing and a different way of, you know. Messing around with the sound. And all again, all the different manipulations you've got, the keys, etc., etc. Going back to here, so we can scroll down, you can see that, I mean, I've just added the new one, this one warped, this is new, it was added, I think, a couple of days ago, last week, maybe. So 
So if you liked that, you could just, you know, do your loady thing. Your loady thing. It's, honestly, I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and bearing in mind, this is now downloading from the cloud. So, you know, depending on how juicy those loops are. But of course, once it's there, it's going to be able to load in. You know, you'll just say you can load. And it'll be the same for any of the other lines or anything that you've chosen. But it's pretty quick. I mean, once it's in there, like it's going to be in about a couple of secs now, you just hit load and it just loads it all in as, as per normal. And as long as you remember to set your key correctly, like for instance, in this one, it would be F sharp. You can have many, many arcades and build up complete songs and trash anything that you like in there with the different effects and stuff, or just make it sound really, really sweet. So you do have the loop section here that re, re, that goes with this particular kit as well, sort of thing, you know, so. So you can just mitch, mitch, mix and match. <laughs> Mix and match all your sounds and samples, etc., 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 till you're you're happy. So it's very very cool beans indeed. Okay, guys. So you see that you do get an absolute ton of stuff to play with with arcade. Like I said, it's free for a hundred days. It's very difficult to do something like this in one video. This is why I kind of showed you a track and then different bits and pieces. Again, you can just play with any of the sounds. You can hear first. As a little preview thing here. And then you can... So you can go into any of these as well and they're all fully fully loaded with loads of cool stuff to play with as well. You've got no real problem because I think you'll find it very useful. It's, it's certainly a great Kickstarter for ideas. I think you'll find it very useful and enjoyable. And the fact that it's free, you know, it's free for 100 days. You can't, and you're not tied in. You, It's not like you would get it free for 100 days and you must pay. It doesn't work like that. You only, you only stay if you want to and you enjoy it. And like I said, output add adding stuff all the time, each week. You know, they're adding new bits and pieces. Now, I, I've got to say, output ain't give me this for nothing. You know, if I want to keep this, I'm going to have to pay my, um, you know, subscription like everybody else. So, you know, um, but I'm I'm pretty certain that it's something that I would want to, want to keep. You know, there's so much cool stuff in here. It's uh, ridiculous, you know. It's very good. It's very good. And like I said, each one of these has a has a little preview, but honestly, in no way does it really represent what you can do once you start to load this stuff in. I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to do um, and show you. Um, you kind of do get the idea. It's like it's not really worth me going through all the actual sounds and stuff and the different drum kits and things and different. Like you've got beats, you've got drum sessions, you could... You can, you know, test out anything you like, really. This ing I mean, there's so much cool stuff, you know. So much cool stuff. <laughs> What they do with these little testers is basically show you the kind of thing you can do with that particular pack sort of thing. But how you how you mash it up is entirely up to you. I think it's a I think it's fantastic. It's apart from anything else, it's easy to use. It's great fun. You can have a lot of fun messing with all the actual, you know, the the resequencing or the repeaters or the playhead, all the different ways you can manipulate the effects, the effects sends, etc., etc. 
So, you know, it's not like you've got a, you're stuck with anything in particular. You can rich, ri really, literally just mash this up exactly how you like. It's just fantastic. Right. I am going to go, uh, I'm going to play out with this track. So if you've seen enough now, you can go. But this is, a. Uh, there's links, always links in my videos to uh, our stuff on Bandcamp. But I wanted to give you an idea. So you've heard what is part of arcadedness. And then th this will have all the bases and everything else that was added by Colin and Dave after this file was sent off to them to play with and we finished it all off in cubasis on the ipad so anyway guys thank you for watching uh, i'll put a link in f uh, to a uh, output site so you can go and check out arcade if you want to like i said it's free for 100 days anyway you know so it's it's great oh and of course once that 100 days works all of this stuff is still still functional it's still yours you know anyway righty ho um let's just close out the microphone and play out with this track called uh lily takes a train from the new album by doug woods colin powell and dave lee and ellie lily's gone mad shameless plugs all the time all right i'll see you later guys thanks for watching ta -da.
Oh, 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 oh,